everybody. Welcome to a little bonus video focused totally on building. There was no building in Friday's video, so I thought I would have to sneak a building video in because I've been up to a lot of stuff this week and I wanted to share it. This is sort of a little mini project that I started ages ago when I did the short cob wall next to my wood stove. It's a cupboard that basically will enclose my solar system and just hide away the awkward corner behind the door. I'm going to continue working on that with a little bit of woodworking and then I'm going to render around the doorway as well just to kind of finish that off a little bit. So some random stuff, lots of little bits and pieces, some carpentry, some rendering, and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's just get straight into the video and I'll see you at the end. So the door only opens this much because of the thickness of the stone walls. So I thought that I would do something with this space where the door wouldn't really get in the way. So my decision for this awkward corner was make a closet and stash my solar stuff in here. And so eventually I would like a piece going across here, a piece kind of bolted onto the wall somehow, a little mini wall, a door frame, a top of the door, and then on top of here, I'll probably saw that piece off there. I'm gonna have, uh, I guess, a storage shelf of some kind. And today, I really wanna focus on preparing all the wood, but at a minimum, getting the piece bolted on here, grind out the corner, and then continue with the render. So that's today's plan. Let's get started. Good morning, mister. Good morning, plant babies. Still nothing doing. Crap, this piece that I was hoping to use is just two centimeters too short. That's annoying. So this piece doesn't look like it's in amazing shape, but the only face you'll see is this front face, which is fine. So I'm gonna sand it up and maybe plane it and see what it looks like. Oops, wrong depth.
So I think this is an actual nightmare to film. I'm gonna check in again when this part's done. But basically I'm trying to fill in as much as I can sort of behind the solar board. That was just put onto the straight stone wall. And my intention is to one day move the solar or at least take it off, render behind it and put it back on. But getting that board off with all the stuff on there is really quite difficult. And I have actually moved it once before, but I called the solar people in to help me with that. So for the moment, I'm just trying to get in where I can and put some lime in so that I can sort of reinforce the uprights when I put that in. But I'm just going to crack on with some lime work and check back in again when I'm ready to attach the post, I think. Okay, here's where I'm at with the lime. It's kind of a bodge job, but I filled in some of the holes and I'll probably attach the piece up here and also bolt it down to the bottom as well and I'll find a place to attach it at the top. So it's definitely not my finest work in lime. A little bit sketchy, but that's okay. It's gonna be hidden in the closet. And I really just wanted to get the dirt clawed out and get some lime in there so it's a bit tidier when I'm working with the wood which will be tomorrow. I'm gonna take the rest of the day off and enjoy this beautiful weather. So foggy. I love it. Are you expecting some rain today? Which is very exciting. Let's go check on the babies. I do feel like perhaps I am getting a little bit carried away because it's only been about eight hours again. But little lettuces and little sunflower are looking happy. Come on the rest of you guys, let's let's do something. Ooh, what's this? There's a purple thing. I see a beet. Okay. Amazing. But now of course it's raining and of course I want to do carpentry and of course I left this piece of wood out without checking the weather, but it'll be fine. That's the point of the linseed oil. It's going to protect it. You can see maybe that the water is kind of beating on top of it instead of kind of soaking in. So that's good news, but I'm going to get it out of the weather and dry it off. What do you think? Good morning, Mikey. Hello. Yeah. It's a little wet out here, isn't it? Okay, you go on your adventure for the day, and I'll see you later. I'm off to a bit of a slow start this morning. I've had a leisurely, relaxing breakfast, basically trying to procrastinate because the job that I have to do this morning is grinding the other side of the door, and it's so dusty, and I hate having all the gear on, and it's just not my favorite job, so I've kind of been delaying and delaying. But I wrapped up the house to a dubious standard in plastic and sheets and all kinds of stuff, to try to protect it from the dust, and I just gotta get it done. So, let's grind some stone. All right, let's do it. I have to stop every minute or less to wipe off my glasses, so it's kind of slow going. I'll, I'm going to check back in when I'm finished. Wish me luck. <sighs> that sucks, but I think it's done. And now I can move on to the fun stuff, attaching some wood, and then I'm gonna do a bit of rendering because I really enjoy rendering. And after doing something that I dislike so much, it'll be nice to move on to something that I really, really love. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna clean up in there because it is Armageddon. And then I'm gonna move on to something better. I'm gonna to go to a better place. <sighs> but I'm glad it's done. Good start to the morning. So my next task is to, uh, I guess, mark out stuff and cut it. So imagine this goes across here. 
I have to make sure it fits in this. I have to cut it to length and then I have to notch out a piece over here as well. So I feel like I've kind of figured out one part of this and I'll work just a little bit at a time. Sorry if it's hard to see, but this piece of wood that I'm going to use up here is a little too thick for the space that I've chopped out. And so I'm going to start by shaving down this piece of wood, I'll put it back in place and, and then go from there. Check out this glorious new set of chisels, courtesy of Sinead and our future tool share. Uh, I love a good chisel. These are a great brand actually for anyone looking to buy chisels. I've always been told that it's important to have the metal ring around the top of the chisel so that as you're hitting it with your mallet it doesn't kind of split and fray away and a lot of them don't have that and these ones are kind of in a mid-range um, price range like maybe this set cost about 100 euros or maybe 90 euros and they're about 30 euros per chisel depending on the size. So it's not crazy expensive like a lot of them, and I feel like it's really good quality. Made in the Czech Republic, as it says in the label, and yeah, it's my chisel. I'm happy with these guys. So let's go chisel some stuff. So that seems pretty good. It needs a little bit of refining, but I won't know for sure until I lop off a bit of the end. So I'm going to do that and put my camera on charge and check back in again when these guys are ready to go into place. I've got the pieces cut and ready to go. There's a few things I need to do still, but for the most part, I think I have the shape of the outside of the cupboard ready. And I'm also almost ready to start rendering. But I got to say, I'm feeling quite unmotivated today. I don't know if it's due to the gloomy weather or what it is, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm not as motivated as I usually am today. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going. I'll see what I get done. I'll get this wet in place. I'll have some lunch and I'll see if I come back a little bit more energized in the afternoon. So let's get some stuff screwed into place. So I have two of these guys. I would have preferred to just use one solid one, but that's all I had. So the idea is I'm just gonna screw these in. I'm not gonna attach this guy just yet, but having these in place will allow me to just hold, hold the wood so I can kind of adjust things up at the top. So that's my plan. So putting those little metal things down at the bottom just gives me kind of some extra support so I can move this thing around without it popping out all over the place. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, somewhere around there. And then I've got this top piece here. I think that's looking okay. 
This end part looks pretty good. I think that looks okay. And instead of kind of trying to screw it into the rock, I'm going to use these hook things and put them into the wood and then use the render to kind of hold the wood in place. And I think along with attaching that at the top and also screwing it in at the bottom, I think it'll be fine. So I'm going to mark a few spots where I can definitely get these in, hammer them in, and then I'll be ready for the render. It looks like the rain stopped, so I'm going to see if I can get this done really quickly. So I just need to hammer these guys in a little bit farther and then the rest of them look like they're probably going to be okay. Well, the weather has certainly changed and I was going to go for a nap earlier, but I decided at the last minute I was going to go for a walk. And so I've been out listening to an audiobook, wandering around for about an hour and a half and I feel really energized. When I got back, I hopped in my hammock and started reading a new book. Build an oasis with grey water. Some fine reading for the hammock. So I'm feeling really energized and I'm ready to tackle a little bit of the rendering. I'm not going to try to do the whole thing today. I'm going to finish up tomorrow, but I want to poke a whole bunch of the rendering in behind the wood to hopefully help hold it in place so that when I start working on it tomorrow, it's a little bit more secure. So let's get started. I've got the render ready to go and Shouldn't take me too long, so I'm excited to get this done. So this is maybe a little drier and grainier than I would normally use, but I think having it firm in this case is gonna be good. So I'll try it and hopefully it works. I don't really have a strategy here, so this seems like it <laughs> might work. I definitely should have done all this stuff before I had the solar installed, but uh, I didn't. I guess electricity was more of a priority than a closet. I can already tell this is going to be horrifically slow and filming is just going to make it even slower. So I'm going to check back in once I've made a little bit of progress because I'm not feeling really like I'm accomplishing much. So I'm going to just go for it, see what I can get done in the next little while and check in again before I'm ready to finish work for the day. So wish me luck on this one. It, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a weird one. It's a weird approach to rendering a wall. So it's about seven o'clock much later than I usually work, but I got into it and I'm really happy with how things have gone. I built the lime render up almost to the top and I think by tomorrow it'll have solidified just enough to hold everything in place so that when I do the rest of the render, I won't be worried about knocking anything around. So I'm really happy with this day of work. I started the day off pretty tired, but I feel energized and I'm excited to push on with this again tomorrow. So today is a lot nicer than it was yesterday. Absolutely beautiful and I'm feeling good. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Definitely not on my game yesterday and I made kind of a silly mistake. So before we get started with the rendering, let me just show you what I did yesterday that's totally foolish. Um, it's not a massive deal, but 
it kind of shows, yeah, my head just was not in the game. So basically my one important task yesterday was putting this piece in place vertically. I did it just with the level and I never even bothered to measure across. So the space between these two posts at the top is 52 centimeters at the top and it's 54 centimeters at the bottom. And I have no idea why I didn't take that measurement. I just didn't think about it. It's absolutely fine. It's not the end of the world, but it does mean that I might have some weirdness happening up here with the lime render eventually, but it's okay. Uh, I just really can't believe I did that. And so before I get started on the render today, I'm wondering if I might protect the solar system and try to claw out some of this dirt up here so I can maybe, if I'm feeling super ambitious, also go across the top and really just clean up the store area. Before I get started on that though, let me show you concrete. This door, I guess, was stuck in place with a whole bunch of concrete. They've kind of extended it around and it's really, really hard to get out. I probably should have grinded it out yesterday, but I just could not bear the thought of doing more grinding than necessary. And so I'm just gonna lime over top of it. It makes me super sad to see concrete on these types of buildings. A lot of people will render or point with concrete and it's just not good for the, the stone buildings. It's not breathable. There's lots of reasons not to use concrete. I'm worried in this case about the moisture that it might bring to the inside of the house, but I'm gonna just lime over it. I know it's there, so if there's any problems in the future, I know the culprit is the concrete. So concrete on these stone buildings is definitely not ideal. You always wanna be using materials that breathe when you're working with this kind of stuff. Any natural materials, it's best to stick with other natural materials. I guess concrete, is it technically natural? I don't really know. But I know that it doesn't breathe, um, water doesn't pass through it, and you really, if you want the building to feel nice, you need to have it so that the moisture goes in and the moisture goes out, and that the air can kind of pass through the building, or something like that. I don't know the, the full science behind it, but I just know that covering a stone building in concrete is really not what you want to be doing and anytime I see it on these stone buildings it, it makes me a little sad so I only have that little little bit there and I also have a little bit of concrete kind of in these in these little cracks here so I will bash that out of that but for beside the door I my fear is that the concrete's what's holding the door frame in place and I really don't want to mess around with that so I just wanted to point out that little thing and now let's go Mix up some lime and start rendering. I love this thing. I'm feeling ambitious and I clawed out the top. Uh, hopefully I feel ambitious later on and carry on. I'll start with the side, but I wanted to point out that I've put some smaller staples into the little corner bits so that the render will grip onto that. So other than that little detail, there's nothing else to show you. Let's get some render on the wall. I have one more thing to show you. This tiny, I don't know if it's a trowel, a hawk. I don't know what it's called, but I'm hoping it'll make rendering a little less unruly. The other one was quite gigantic. So I'm excited to try it.
I'm very happy to report that this trowel is a definite winner. So I'm enjoying using this. However, sometimes I have to make a choice between filming everything and actually finishing the project. So let me say goodbye for now and I'm gonna check in again when the whole thing is rendered. Okay, the rendering is done. I'm very happy with this little trowel and let me show you what I've done. Okay, I have rendered the side to match the other side. There's a little weirdness up there in the corner, but I think it'll all work out okay. I've done the top as well. I haven't gone over too far because I'll likely bring some cords down here eventually. And I haven't gone all the way to the top because the cords will run in a conduit somehow up there and also the roof will be lower because I'll insulate it. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening above the door, but I'm happy with that level of render just to kind of make everything look a lot cleaner and a little bit more finished. I've left this weird bit of wood in here because it's currently acting as a doorstop so that when I open the front door, it doesn't smash the rendering to smithereens um, until I can get an actual doorstop. So, I am very, very happy with this. This is going to get a lot lighter as it dries, and I think it's going to look really cool. So that's it for this little bonus building video. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't a job I was planning on doing, but I'm so happy I did, and I think it makes the door just look that much better. It makes that whole corner look a lot tidier, and having that piece in place, ah, the chainsaws, the music of the chainsaws, um, having that piece of wood in place and having the top of the cupboard on now kind of allows me to visualize the space a bit better and that's what I generally need to be able to push forward on the design. So I'll finish the cupboard in some future video but next week I expect I'll be seeing you guys from inside the shower. So as always thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.